Hey guys, what's up? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning in to this video blog. In this video, I want to talk about HTML and CSS and how it relates to the UI UX design sort of discipline. Give you some pointers, some quick pointers on, on how to go about learning HTML and CSS. Now, back in a few years ago, I put out a video, I think it was titled, um, How Much Coding Experience You Needed to Be a UI, you know, in UI UX Design. And in the video, I talked about how you don't need to know JavaScript. You know, there's very little. You just all you need to know is just basic HTML. In fact, you can actually become a UI UX designer without too much or any coding experience. And someone, somebody recently commented on that video saying how um, you know this video is old, everything's outdated, everything has changed today. And I responded saying, you know, nope, absolutely, actually. Everything in that video is 100% true and accurate today. All right. As a UI UX designer, you don't need to know any JavaScript whatsoever. Okay, I can testify to that. I've been designing now for over 17 years. I get paid a lot of money um, as a UI UX designer, and I don't know a lick of JavaScript. Okay, but basic HTML and CSS, although it is not a critical, it's not a vital component. As a UI UX designer, it is, it is important. All right, it is something that every designer should should know, um, for several reasons. One, it allows you to obviously build your own freelance business. You know, being able to design and code simple mom and pop websites is obviously important. Um, knowing HTML and CSS allows you to customize WordPress blocks for your freelance stuff. Um, in the corporate world, although for example, as a UI UX designer, I'm not coding on a daily basis. It's not a part of my day-to-day -day job. It is still vital. Why? Because it allows me to create HTML prototypes when I need to. Also, it allows me to be a resource to front-end developers. Okay, what I mean by that is, for those of you who are just getting started, a front-end developer is the person that does all the coding in a product organization, okay? Those are the people that knows the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, and stuff like that, okay? Those are the front-end developers, all right? So, although it's not, vi it's not the most critical component to my job, it is still important, all right? So, for those of you who are maybe, you know, scared of getting started with HTML, here are some quick tips. Um, that I wanted to mention. I actually was e writing an email to someone about this, so I thought, let me just sh um, shoot this in a video. Two things. First thing is always use a WYSIWYG when you're getting started, okay, to learn HTML. This is a great way to learn HTML and CSS. A WYSIWYG is the acronym what you see is what you get. Any application that allows you to design and then allows you to view the source code is a WYSIWYG, okay? Back in the day, I started with like Netscape Composer or Front Page and then Dreamweaver. Today, Dreamweaver is a very popular one, but there's also many on the market. You can just type in Google free WYSIWYGs and um, you'll find a bunch, okay? Basically, get started and familiarize yourself with HTML this way by getting a WYSIWYG, putting a paragraph in there, some text, putting an image, adding some hyperlinks to the paragraph, and then what you do is view the source. And all you do is look at the character patterns that you see, okay? In HTML speak, we call this the syntax, okay? So whenever you see a character pattern, like for an image or for a hyperlink, that's called the syntax. You don't have to understand why this character is being used over this one or what this character means. Don't even worry about that. All you do is familiarize yourself with the actual pattern. Okay, image patterns, link patterns, paragraph tag patterns, all these things have been the same for the last 10, 15, 20 years. Okay, so once you start familiarizing yourself with these syntax patterns, you'll start to memorize them and learn them as you go. Okay, and then you won't have to rely on the WYSIWYG to actually code these. And so that's kind of like how I learned. I, I, I think I used the WYSIWYG for probably a couple years before I got, you know, really good where I could, you know, move off of that and start hand coding things on my own. Um, so, you know, definitely use a WYSIWYG to kind of familiarize yourself with the code. And as you go, like, for example, take an image tag and like center it or 
create like a div tag or a table or something like that and you know align it to the right align it to the left and view the source code and you get familiar with how the code is laid out okay that's pretty much a great way to get started secondly um, is always it is okay to use a resource and not actually memorize the code but always reference something as you're coding someone asked me asked me um, Mike how do you memorize all the HTML code and the answer is actually this will come naturally as time goes on all right um, it is, and also even if you have 10 15 years experience in coding it is still okay to have a reference guy every top developer that I've known that I've worked with always has a reference they use Google when they need to learn how to do something like oh, how to create um, a transparent um, transition hover effect in CSS they just type it in and it's there how to add a background image in CSS just type it in Google and it's there how to um, how to have a blinking hyperlink or blinking text you know type it in and you'll find it basically when, back in the day I used to have this big book it's called the HTML Bible and we would reference that all the time but um, today we have Google you can just quickly search for something and find it instantly so um, the answer is it is definitely okay to always use a resource don't worry about memorizing code um, this will come naturally as time goes on um, I work with some top front-end developers folks that works at Google's now Google now um, Yahoo CBS Fox and all these guys still reference things um, as they're coding daily all right so those are just some things that I want to touch on again as a UI UX designer JavaScript is not important I had an old video where I say choose a discipline okay choose a discipline and perfect that discipline so UI UX design is a, is a discipline in itself don't worry about JavaScript this is a whole nother field it's a whole nother thing that if you start to learn JavaScript you'll start really getting into the front-end development work so if you're focusing on UI UX design just learn the basics of HTML and CSS okay and also think that it is not the most important thing as I mentioned visual UI design and then understanding breaking down solving problems you know getting breaking down business requirements and creating interfaces is really what a UI UX designer does all right it's not the front-end development work all right hopefully the stuff that I mentioned in this video is helpful guys some tips some pointers um, hope you enjoyed it if you do leave me a comment please hit the like button if you like the stuff that I talk about also if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel please do so and always visit my website um, mlwebco.com hit me up check out the stuff that I have there check out my web design training course and um, use the contact link on my website I'll be happy to answer any questions for you alright guys thanks for watching as always more videos to come we'll be talking soon peace